Hello, Oculus. Welcome back to Viva Barca and welcome to the home of everything Barcelona, where we are going to be discussing on some interesting updates. We start with Ronald Araujo, who in a recent interview talks Xavi, Messi, Benzema, Barca captaincy, favorite position and many more. We are going to be discussing on what Araujo had to say in his recent interview. Then secondly, talking about former Barca striker Sergio Aguero, who also in an interview talks Messi, Lewandowski, Benzema, Vinicius Jr., El Clasico, La Liga title race. We are also going to be discussing on that. So guys, before we get right into it in much detail, please do ensure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video. Consider liking the video and please watch right up to the very end. Barca, Barca. Ronald Araujo's injury in the international break ruled him out for close to three months and the effect can be directly seen in the team's performance. Barcelona have been horrendous in defence since the international break and one does not have to think deeply about the, season, the reason. In a recent interview with the magazine club Del Depostiza, the Uruguayan centre-back Araujo spoke about his career, ambitions and leadership amongst other topics. Yeah, the snippets from his recent interview. Aragos first gave his opinion on Barcelona's attempts to bring Lionel Messi back next summer when his contract with PSG expires. His reply clearly echoed a popular sentiment that was in favor of the Argentine's return. He said, If I were Barcelona's person director, I would sign Messi. In recent seasons, the Uruguayan international established himself as Barcelona's most reliable centre back, yet, Xavi has often deployed him out of position at right back on occasions this term. When asked about his preferred position, he said, I feel more comfortable playing as a centre-back. Araujo then spoke about his ambitions and goals for the future. His words show that the high bar he sets, of course, for himself, for the defender has never been one to settle for less. He said, I'm looking forward to making my own career, to make my own name like the great centre-backs that football have had. The centre-back then revealed the toughest player he had ever played against and detailed what made the player so special. Karim Benzema, he said. He's a very smart player. He knows when to stop, how to move and how to move his teammate. You always have to be very careful when you play against him, he said. Xavi has come under criticism in recent days after his team is on the verge of crashing out of the UEFA Champions League in the group stages of the second consecutive year. Yet, Arauco was also were all praised for his manager and his ideology, as he said. When Xavi arrived, I had to learn. When I joined the, t the first team, Barcelona had lost their philosophy and their DNA. With Xavi's arrival, I continued to grow and today I feel very comfortable, he said. Talking about his life off the field, the defender said that having a child changed him as a person and also had a direct effect on his football, he said. I learned a lot from my daughter. When she came, I learned to value my life, my family, way more. When you fail in the match and then come home to see your child's face, your face automatically changes. On the field, Arago can always be seen as the one who leads from the front. He acknowledges that he was a born leader when asked about his mentality. He said, I feel that I am a leader. When I signed for Barca, there were many leaders and I learned a lot from them. Becoming a captain for the B team was an honor. Arago then went on to reveal his dream of becoming a captain for the first team in the coming years. As he said, I am very happy at Barcelona and becoming a captain would be an honor for me. Finally, he signed off the interview by saying that he would always give his all, irrespective of where the manager chose to deploy him. As he said, I prefer playing as a centre-back, which was always been my natural position. However, if I have to play as a right-back, I will give my best in that position. Great words there from Ronald Araujo, of course, really miss him a lot, um, Barca miss him, all the fans miss him. Araujo has been the pillars in defence for for a couple of seasons and this season it looked, like, it looked as though he could have been the pillar for a long time alongside um, Jules Koundé and just unfortunate for us that he picked up a, a serious injury while playing for international duty last month. And, of course, he chose to go for surgery, which will roll him out for three months, which means they will walk up in Qatar. He will not be there, which is a big blow to the Uruguayan national team. Arago is a fighter. We all know that. Arago is somebody who has winning mentality. 
Arago is a special player for us. It's a big miss that he's not there. It's a shame that Arago will be out for a long time. Of course, saying this with a lot of sadness as a Barca fan, hoping that he comes sooner than expected. But I think it's only 2023 that we might see Arago again playing in Barca colors. And also the big sacrifice he made to, you know, not to play the World Cup, his first World Cup at this age. Come on, it's something to appreciate. Nobody, like, it's difficult. Very few people can take that initiative, you know, to opt. Because he had two options. We quite remember either to go for conservative treatment, which would be a short-term treatment. But even though there's risk in that method because it, it, it might suffer a relapse. But Arago decided to go for a long-term solution, you know, just to take a huge sacrifice by going for a long-term surgery, which will roll him out for a longer period, which means he, Arago himself decided that he would better forgo the World Cup to heal well, to come back 100% fit, rather than going and coming, going and coming, like how Ansu Fati have been and like how, um, you know, Umtiti have been in the past years. So it's, 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 gr it's great to see that, you know, he he's recovering and we hope that he recovers faster. And it's a shame that he's not available. Maybe the game against Real Madrid tomorrow, we could have been feeling more comfortable with Arago on the pitch, but it was not meant to be. Then on to the next story of discussion. Former Barcelona and Argentina striker Sergio Aguero has given his two cents ahead of the much anticipated El Clasico at the Santiago Bernabeu on Sunday afternoon. The former Manchester City player got a taste of the rivalry between Barca and Real Madrid last season when he scored in a Clasico with Barcelona losing 2-1 soon after which he was forced to early retirement due to a heart problem. And looking forward to the upcoming meeting between the two giants of La Liga, Aguero expects a great encounter at the Bernabeu, as he said. Every year this type of match is different from any other match, regardless of the level of the two teams before the match. This is a Clasico and everyone is giving their best, and now it's more competitive because the two teams are at the very top. Barca have a great squad and they are excited. It's going to be a great match, he said. When asked if Real Madrid had underestimated Barcelona at the end of the season, Aguero replied, I don't think there is any disrespect between the two rivals and this is, this is something that does not happen in leagues of this level. The legendary striker then backed Barca to come out on top, saying, Barca have had some difficulties lately, but they seem to be overcoming them. Even with the defenders injured, they overcome these problems and have the ability to beat Real Madrid. When asked about the recent speculation surrounding Lionel Messi's potential return to Barcelona next year, he said, Anything is possible in football. We know about Leo. We know what Leo means to Barcelona and vice versa. It's hard to predict what's going to happen. I hope Leo gets what he wants. He deserves everything good. Talking about the threat posed by Real Madrid's attack of Karim Benzema, Vinicius and Rodrigo, the former Barca hitman said, In attack, Real Madrid have a wonderful trio consisting of Benzema, um, you know, Vinicius and Rodrigo, who has improved a lot recently. Anzolotti knows the nature of the game he wants to play and his team applies it correctly. We will see how Barcelona will defend. Speaking highly about Barcelona's Lewandowski, Aguero said, I don't think Lewandowski has had any problems adapting to La Liga. He is one of the best players and the big players adapt quickly. I think he will continue to do a lot more for Barca. On whether the Clasico will decide the title race, Aguero said. It's too early to say that one match at the moment will determine La Liga champions. Many rounds are still ahead of us. The real thing is that the winner will cheer up and gain extra momentum. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.